The Port of Rain lives and breathes by the rule A General. Say that to any rainer and you will instantly hear. To rein a horse is not only to guide him, but also control his every movement. The best rein horse should be willingly guided or controlled with little or no apparent resistance and dictated to completely. This is the first rule for judging in the National Rain Horse Association Handbook and the USCF Rulebook. The market played an intricate role in the development of the West in the 1800s and early 1900s, carrying settlers to their new homes, working the cattle on their cattle ranches, packing their owners into the mountains to hunt, and playing rodeo games on their days off. Things have changed some over the years, but these great horses are still doing all of the above, except of course carrying settlers to their new homes. Never getting their share of the publicity, these working Western Morgans are excelling at what they do now. Today we would like to introduce you to and increase your knowledge about the sport of reining. Ranchers have long known that their Morgans excel at ranch work. Many notable ranchers introduce Morgan blood into their working stock to improve the quality of their herd. Some of the working ranches use and still use Morgans exclusively for their ranch work. So it is no surprise that the Morgans can excel in the reining pen. Their great athletic ability, sound confirmation, good work ethic, and sound mind make them an excellent choice for your next reining horse. Reining was born on the range and has evolved into an international event. Reining is now recognized by the United States Equestrian Team and is the only Western discipline to be recognized by the Federation Equestrian International. You never know one day, we might just see reining in the Olympics. Today, Heath Herndon has a great stallion, Morgan Quest native son, who is a three-time world champion Morgan reigning horse here at the Grand National. This talented stallion is owned by Tane, Dwayne, and Shirley Burris of Missouri. A reigning horse is judged on his ability to perform a maneuver. The NRHA handbook describes it best when we discuss A General. After deducting all faults against the execution of a pattern and the horse's overall performance, credit should be given for smoothness, finesse, attitude, quickness and authority of performing various maneuvers while using controlled speed, which ultimately raises the level of difficulty and makes the horse and rider more exciting for the audience to watch. Reigning patterns are judged on a maneuver by maneuver basis. Each entry starts the pattern with an average score of 70. As each maneuver group is completed, the maneuvers are graded from a minus one and a half for a very poor performance to plus one and a half for an excellent performance. The score of zero reflects the correct performance with no degree of difficulty. We Today you'll see this horse performing individual maneuvers. We won't run a complete pattern. Reining horses tend to like to anticipate through um, doing a pattern specifically or detailed and all in order, so we just work our maneuvers independently when we practice with these uh, individuals. So today Heath is going to be showing you some of the different maneuvers and explaining how we control the horses, how they're trained, how their bodies controlled. Um, some of these maneuvers are spin, rollbacks, stops, circles, and backups. They have to show a lead change both directions in these patterns as well. Testing, there we go. Well, like y'all just heard, raining, it's, uh, it's about body control and having complete control of the horse between your legs and bridle reins. Uh, it's kind of a mixture of dressage and, the, you know, a work cow horse. I'll show you all some exercises I do just right off the bat. I know we don't have a lot of time here. That get you body control and work. They, I try to teach these horses not what to do, but what not to do. So. You know, I have a lot of exercises I do. Like right here, I'm going to take this horse, and I'm going to counter trot him and make him in an uncomfortable position. This is no fun for him. Trot him, kind of hustle him a little bit here, make sure I can move his, 
hip, his hip, his shoulders, the rib cage. And then I'll say, oh, I'm going to stop him there. Then I'm going to ask him to turn around and make the turn around the reward. Then I'll just take you right back out of there. And I'm just looking for resistance. When I get on one, every day, that, that's, whether it's the first time I've rode it or an older horse like this, I just get on and start looking for resistance. Make sure that I move that hip like that up there. Obviously, it's about time 
me with the horse and rider. It, when I'm up and around here, I want my legs touching this horse. See, right now I'm holding that hip over with my left leg, but I want my legs going to him every time his front feet hit the ground. So I'm in time with him. So when I, if I'm in time with him like that, my legs are with that front end. When I ask him to change like there, I'm right in time. He changed real quiet and didn't get too chargy, so I just take my legs out, let him break to a walk. Lope him off this time. And all this stuff counter cantered and moving that hip around in the low bits of broke. So when you do let them go and get the time with them, I want these stirrups to be like a, a brake pedal. If I push on them, I want him to stop. So I know a minute ago he anticipated that lead change a little bit. So I'm going to kind of test him here. I'm not going to hold, hold on to him this time. I'm going to go over here and then I'm just going to redirect him. Oh. A little resistance, he didn't want to steer, so I'm going to back off, make sure he steered. Got a little lot of resistance up there. These steers over there soft. Put my hand down. Now I'm going to kind of bait him. Counter canter over here. This time I'm going to just break down to a walk. Keep him guessing and waiting on me. The next thing we're to stop and I, and I can't stop and we don't have much base in this ground yet, but I'm gonna go through here and wrap this pin, test him there too. 